Though financial constraints prevented officials of the Abundant Life Ministries International from doing more, according to Bishop Kalita Williams of ALMI, the 8th Annual Senior Citizens Banquet, which was held today, was a worthwhile one. A lot of them has been um, the patriots and the, um, and the persons who have led the way in this country for many, many years. And when they've come to the sunset of their days, a lot of times they are uh, somewhat forgotten. And we use this time um, to say thank you to them and to give give to them and, and create an opportunity for them to come out and, and meet some of their old friends that they haven't seen throughout the years. You know, Christmas is a time of giving. Um, and so we use this time to, to give back to them and, um, and, and to be a blessing Coming to them. Right Bishop Williams noted that economic hardships had an adverse effect on the turnout of this year's event. Every year, likewise, we visit the geriatric ward in, in Grand Turk um, and we give gifts and, um, and we be a blessing to them over there. And um, uh, for the past two years, two to three years, we have brought um, about five or more um, senior citizens from North Caicos. Um, and we, we, we were hoping every year to expand it and to move um, um, into North and do some more things. But, you know, the economy has been um, so bad and, um, and a lot of people uh, are not doing stuff this year because of the, um, the difficulties they're experiencing financially with this economy. Meanwhile, the senior citizens in attendance said they appreciated the gesture and enjoyed the day's activities. I think every church should patronize this, not only during Christmas time, but any time they have that chance to do so, it should be demonstrated because love is, it shows love. Love is the key. And when we do this, God in heaven rejoices. I feel good about the flowers, you know, because every year this is big. Be good, and I like it. <laughs> so they can't, they can't do no more. What they do? It's doing nice. It's here. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.